look what I'm doing. I'm like, why are you beating yourself in the head? This is part of EFT tapping. And I wanted to show it to you because it's something that you can do for yourself at any given time. And guess what? It's free. I like free stuff. So emotional freedom tapping is something that is spectacular. I've done it with a lot of my clients. I do it for myself. It's an amazing tool to really help you stay grounded. And um, I'll tell you how I do it. And again, I'm just gonna, there's tons of places to tap. Like a lot of times I'll teach you different tapping, like under here, there's different places to tap. But I'm gonna show you some basic tapping things today so you can kind of carry that into your own like life because again, it's free and I like it and it's effective. So I'm gonna show you these basic areas, okay? We're gonna do what you, know, what you would call your third eye right here. And we're gonna go, like if you look straight out, I've done this before, but I wanted to do an updated version. So if you were to look straight out, I want you to go right here, right? And then this little Cupid's peak right here, your chin area right here, and my favorite place is your thymus. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. So the idea behind it, so you have to understand, it's kind of like if you've ever seen a butterfly tap, like if you connect your thumbs like a butterfly, and you put, oh, I wanna be careful, pretend they're on my chest because I have this microphone, you'll hear me beating it. Pretend it was here, and then you just tap, right? And what that does, it's really amazing because it gets you, keeps grounded, and it activates both sides of your brain. So when you're doing emotional freedom tapping, I like for you to have like one short sentence to say. So let's say you're going through anxiety, um, you might say, I am safe. See how simple that is? You want something that's easy, I am safe. Um, if you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling uh, less than, you say, I am loved. It doesn't matter about other people. You gotta be loved by self. It does not matter about everybody else. Nobody else has to love you but you first and always. So what you would do is, now I like to do two hands, honestly, like when you get here, you're not gonna do two hands. Like you're here and here and here is gonna be one. Here I like two, here I like one. So I guess I do one most of the time, duh. But so let's say you were having anxiety or you were feeling flighty in your head and going out, spaced and spacing out, freaking out. You, again, tap here. I like to take these two fingers. You can do these two, it doesn't really matter, but I like to do these two, okay? I don't know why, it just kind of is. And you, so you tap, okay? Deep breath in, deep breath out. And you'd say, I am safe. Deep breath in, deep breath out, I am safe. You're gonna do that one more time. I am safe. Now you're gonna continue, continue. With, don't change the dialogue, keep it the same way. Now you're gonna take both hands here. Same thing, deep breath in. Exhale, I am safe. Do it again. I am safe. And another time. I like to do it in threes. Preferably threes is, the, is good. Listen, the harder you smack yourself in the head doesn't mean that it's gonna get in any better. Trust me, I've tried that. Don't give yourself a concussion because you're like having massive anxiety. Literally, it doesn't, it, light or strong, it's gonna be the same effect. So just, I am safe, right? You're gonna do the same thing here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, I am safe, or I am loved, or whatever it is, but the same mantra stays all the way across. But let's stick with I am safe, I am safe. Do that three times, three or five, odd numbers are great for this. And then here, like right here, 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 same thing. Always deep breath in, deep breath out, I am safe. One of my favorite places is my thymus. So if you take, if you go up here where your shoulder blade are these, this is your collarbone, bowl, not collarbone and go down to where it goes into this little V right here, this is your thymus. And I'll tell you why, that you, I know you can probably hear this really good. Um, but the reason, and same thing, I am safe. The reason I love the thymus is it actually also stimulates your vagus nerve, which automatically kind of helps calm you right down. You can actually feel it. So I like to really, can, can you hear this? I'm sure you can, because it's like right here. But so I like that. And the, what that does, and you can go through that two, three, four times, however much you need to do. So there's a combination of that being active meditation. So now that becomes an active meditative practice. Um, it also stimulates your vagus nerve. It keeps you grounded. It slows your breath. It gives you control over it and keeps you in the present space. I mean, hello, it's free and it's awesome, right? And now do not just, let's literally do this not just when you're in peril, because then you're gonna be doing it out of desperation. You're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm safe. <sighs> Why isn't this working? Stop doing these kind of activities and any activity. Stop doing breathing exercises, meditation, yoga, journaling. Stop doing those with an expectation. No, 
Don't do these things with expectation. Do them to be in the present space. So I like personally um, when I'm doing it when I'm not in a peril space. So let, I wouldn't need I'm safe or I'm loved. Um, I'll say I'm grateful, right? Because it's a really good way to do to like when you do your gratitude journal, it's amazing to do it to say I am grateful. So I am grateful. Or you say, I am one with the universe. Like something short, don't make it like a whole paragraph. So something you can do all the way across the board. But when you do that, what it starts doing, like I said, is it also gives you this space. The butterfly technique, like I said, if it's like this, it's the same thing. Now, I love the emotional freedom tapping because it's something that, um, it's almost like a dialectical in a way, but like um, it's, it's amazing because it's you sort of therapizing yourself. So to do it when you're not in peril, now obviously, when you do this as part of your daily practice, I like it as a daily practice, especially here. Sometimes I'll just hit this several times a day and I'll just be like, I am grateful or, oh, I am so safe. You know what I mean? Or I'm thankful. Whatever it is I'm saying for that day, I am whatever. And you want to say I am, not I want to be. When you say I am, that's how you start to align with things. So when you're sitting in that space and doing your emotional freedom tapping, it starts to give you that space of one with self. And it gives you the things in which you need. And again, don't wait to be in peril. Please don't do this. It's like doing breathing exercises. Don't wait till you have anxiety and then go, oh my God, this isn't working. No, because your body doesn't know what it's meant to do. So the reason you want it as part of your daily wellness practice is so your body attaches these tappings and what these, these affirmations that you say to yourself with the art of being um, calm and present. This way, it's not doing it in peril. So I hope that that helps. Let me know if you like it down under here. I tell you, you got to be consistent with it. It's not silly. It's amazing. And sometimes I even like to put on my binaural beats, which I'm going to do some binaural beats for you guys on here and you'll, you'll have them. But I love it because then I just, and I'll put it in like in my headphones. I'll do it as like a meditative practice. I'll stay here for a long time though. I ain't doing it three or four times. I might do it for a full half hour. I might do it 45 minutes. Who knows? Depends on the mood I'm in, but I love it. I will just sit and I'll just be I am safe or I am thankful, or I'm grateful. I like to do it outside, anything like that. So these are the energy tools that I'm giving you that's absolutely free, but it's worth so much weight of, and it's, it, it's worth of weight and gold. Does I say that right? I don't know, you know what I'm saying. So, but give it a try. I love it. Emotional freedom tapping is something that you can do for yourself at all times. This is just the basics. There's so much more to it that's advanced. I'm not gonna give that to you because you ain't ready for that yet. So let's start with baby steps, micro goals, go tap.